Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm at Spruce Creek Park and it's located on 23 acres here in Port Orange, Florida. Behind me is a platform that is 536 feet and this project was done by high school students who blazed the trails and helped build this platform. It goes out to an observation tower. That's where we're going today. And then from there, we're just gonna explore. So let's go. So it is hot out here in Florida, as is expected in June, but I am trying my best to not melt. Hoping once I get back here, there's a lot of tree cover after this initial part. and should bring the temperature down several degrees. This is our first overlook. It's looking east over Marsh. Well, it goes both ways. Let's check it out. It's not much to see here. I can see the highway over there. There's a breeze which feels pretty good. Then over on this side facing west, I can actually see the observation tower over there. So it's not gonna be a long walk to it. it seems like things look longer to me on Google Maps than uh, reality. And I even measured it. So we're gonna head to that. A little slippery here. Yeah. Slippery when wet. We're in some turns now. And we're ending the platform. It's pretty cool. It's a little raised walkway. I guess the water gets low here at times. And it leads to a dirt trail. It's a short trail here to a bridge. The trail out here is marked so you can follow it quite easily. approaching another walkway. Ooh. 
It's definitely hot outside here. I haven't seen anybody else on the trail except for a couple with a small child in a stroller. And they didn't go beyond the end of the platform. Hey, here's the observation tower. This is nice. Two stories. It gets us up above the park. I can see some of the other trails that we're going to explore. And there's a great view up here and a great breeze. It's definitely cooler up here with the breeze. It's a beautiful view as well. some birds out there flying. I can see the fishing pier that we uh, shot some drone footage from at the beginning. I'd say up here is a really nice day. Mrs. Camper got me this after our transplant. I like it. I can see some trails down here that we're going to explore after we hang out here at this observation deck, which offers some shelter. Rain is in the forecast for about 1 o'clock in this afternoon. Right now it is 10.50. I'm just going to sit here and enjoy this.
Well, I've had a fantastic time at this observation tower, but I think uh, we're gonna move on and check out what else is down the trail. Goodbye, observation tower. You've been good to me, and we will run to you if it starts raining. Ugh. These things never want to stay on my head. All these little hermit crabs just make me laugh. They're just doing their things out here. But they can sense me approaching, which is just phenomenal. They see me, I guess. It's crazy. And then they just all scatter. This path looks like it's in the sun. This path looks like it's in the shade. Which one do you think I'm gonna take? If you chose the shade path, you chose wisely. Although, I'm not gonna lie. All the time I spent in the observation tower, I don't think this one offers much shade anymore. Cool tree. All the uh, Spanish moss. I will say, one negative of this area is that because the highway is so close, you just hear that constant drone of vehicle after vehicle. But it's not super distracting. Not like airplanes. There's a picnic table here. Just hang out. It's pretty cool. Sure somebody's been going back there for something. I don't know, it looks like it dead ends. Keep on. Hey guys, if you like this content, I would really appreciate if you hit the like button. If you feel like you wanna support me, you can do so best by hitting the subscribe button. And if you wanna be notified anytime I post content, make sure you hit the little bell and that the all icon is selected. I don't know what this is, but we're gonna check it out. It's just a cut area with no shade. We're going back to the trail. Well, we made it up to Rose Bay. Not quite scenic yet, but I can see it over here. Ooh. So I'm starting to feel it in my feet. I think these boots may have been a bad choice, but me and this log are gonna be friends. Oh! Yeah, we are. I took a short seat on the log back there and now not, I don't know, 30 feet. It says I've reached the end of the trail. 
and ironically <laughs> there's a pavilion here with a bunch of picnic tables so we're gonna hang out here and then uh, we'll see what we feel like accomplishing after that my feet are hurting like I said the boots were a bad choice I thought there'd be more water back here but there wasn't I'm also working off three years of not really using my legs properly or at all so I do what I can and I feel like as long as I'm doing it whether it's a small hike like I do or paddling which seems to be easier on me I'm outdoors and that's what matters to me I love it this thing is absolutely soaked I'm gonna see if I can leave it here to dry out a little bit That was a magnificent break. It's exactly what I needed. I um, think I'm going to leave my pack here. I don't believe anybody's coming. Because uh, the water is very close. So I'm going to go check that out with the GoPro and uh, see what it looks like. If it's better than this pavilion, I'm going to set up for lunch there. So I'll see you. Oh. All right, we're going to leave the bag there and just go check out the water. That was pretty cool. We're actually very close to the water. Oh yeah. We're at the water. So behind me is Rose Bay. Spruce Creek Park is nestled between Rose Bay. Spruce Creek Park is nestled between Rose Bay and Strickland Bay to the south which is part of Spruce Creek the water is nice it smells of course and um, it looks like I could set up a hammock it'd be tight but I could do it between these two trees but there's just not a lot of shade the pavilion was actually better so I think I'm going to head back to the pavilion and eat lunch. All right, guys, let's eat. I took the liberty to make a sandwich at home. Anybody guess what kind of sandwich it is? Put it in the comments below before I reveal it. And I'll tell you if you're right. Or you're gonna cheat and watch the video and then post a comment but we got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich 
I guess it's an adult version, not alcohol, but sugar-free jam and low-fat peanut butter. So it's a bit healthier, but I could use the energy today. Whew. I've probably sweat, I feel like two gallons of liquid out of my body. I have already drank almost the whole liter of this and I got my other bottle with a half liter that I'm gonna save for the walk back. It's about a mile walk total, or not total, but one way. Up to here was a mile, so a mile back to the truck. The water was nice, and we're gonna explore past the trail end after lunch and see where that takes us. Well, I'm gonna eat. Mmm. I do love a peanut butter and jelly. For those wondering, it's strawberry jelly. My watch just said light rain starting in 10 minutes. And it looks like it's not wrong. Here, take a look. We're going to check out this end of trail. Let's see what we got. Won't lie, I reconned with the drone. You'll see that now. It doesn't look like a lot out here. Maybe that's why the trail ends. There's some water up ahead. And fiddler crabs. Lots and lots of fiddlers. Let's see if I can get these guys on film. I have the Canon filming. And here we go. There's just hundreds of them. Oh, one bumped into me. Hello guys. I think that might be a baby on that one. I'm not here to harm. Just walking through. Wow. It's definitely looking like rain.
I imagine with the really high waters that this whole area is underwater. I don't know what this is, but it's man-made. It just looks pretty desolate out here. A couple of rocks, some driftwood, and lots and lots of crabs. And it goes on. We'll go around the next corner and see what it gets us, okay? Oh, this looks like the end of the road for us. And the beginning of a creek, maybe. I'm gonna turn around and head back, guys. Coming through, guys, coming through. Here we go. Oh yeah, here we go. Whew. I think it's coming down good now and we're in shelter. Well, I know it probably feels like we were just here for you, but we did walk down there a bit and hit the creek. So getting back here, I did expedite. Didn't even think about the camera at that moment. I was worried about my cannon and getting it into the Pelican waterproof case. So we're here. I'm gonna waterproof. And uh, I might hang out here just to see if it passes. I'll check the weather on the phone. And if not, we'll don the rain gear and head back to the truck. Hey, if you like seeing me get caught in the rain, you should check out my hike and relax at Lake Harney Wilderness area. I'll throw a link in the description and uh, at the end of the video. Well, the rain has passed and the sun's coming out. So we're gonna put the cannon into the Pelican case and clip it to the outside of the backpack. Just to be safe, and we're gonna head back to the truck. I'm not gonna wear the rain jacket because it's not raining. Plus, I'm soaked still from sweat and a little bit of rain. So, let's head on back. I take entirely too much stuff. But, to make you all a production, I have to bring camera stuff. And that's the majority of it. One of the problems with this trail, not necessarily a problem, just something to know, is that the path you walk in on is the same path you're gonna walk out on. So we're gonna pass the observation tower again. We're gonna pass that picnic bench again. We're gonna pass that wooden seat that was literally 50 feet from the pavilion. I'll check in with you all when we're closer to the truck. As is Florida tradition, after a shower, it just becomes stifling hot. The humidity is off the charts. So. I'm hydrating and, I don't know, halfway back to the truck, I don't I'm maybe three quarters of the way back to the truck. 
but I am looking forward to the air condition in there. The boots were definitely a bad choice today. I take them off and I feel reprieve. So the picnic table is under the sun now. It's not under the shade anymore like it was this morning. Sun's straight overhead, um, pretty much overhead, yeah. So I'm just taking a short five minute here. Then we continue on. Since the rain has bypassed, I decided to put the cannon back up here for quick access in case you see anything neat, film worthy. We're headed to the observation deck, and then from there we'll get to the platform, and then from there we'll call it a day. It has been a very tiring day for me. I definitely will not wear these Bates boots in the future until I'm capable of it. I've just seen a crab run in a hole with something that looked like a leaf maybe. There's so many crabs out here. And there's the observation deck. All right, tower. I'm just gonna sit here on the stairs and take a five. I'm gonna finish my water bottle. I brought another liter, and left it in the truck because I knew I was gonna be thirsty because I knew it was going to be hot. <sighs> well, there's nothing to it but to do it. So let's go. found an armadillo carcass, oh, skeleton, that I didn't see on the way in. Interesting. All right, we should be coming up on that platform boardwalk then it should be easy sailing well guys I was gonna do an outro at the picnic tables over there but I'm just done so I'll talk to y'all in the truck. Guys, I made it back to the truck and I got the air conditioning on and it feels great. I'm sorry if it's noisy, but I need it. Let's see. Here's that leader I left here in the truck for me. And I much appreciate myself. Oh my God, it is warm, but delicious. Strawberry Kiwi Mio. Uh, I'm gonna eat a Maple Brown Sugar Nature Valley 
and I want to thank you all for watching. I hope it's entertaining nonetheless. If you enjoy watching me attempt to do these activities, whether I'm doing them good or I'm doing them bad, please hit the like button and subscribe to see me in my future accomplishments or failures. I would greatly appreciate it. I thank you all for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.